Over the course of the last few months, I've been able to do a lot of things that most people don't typically get to do, and I'm extremely grateful for that. Started off with being able to move to Los Angeles just in search of myself as a person, trying to figure out who I was, exactly what I wanted, because I was living in Minnesota at the time with my parents where I grew up, and I, I knew there was more to what I wanted. So. Uh, left in search of that, ended up going to Mexico to surprise my family while they were on spring break. That led to me going back to LA, and shortly after I turned 18, I set out to travel the world with a couple of different friends. We went to China, we've been in Bali for the last month, and we have a lot more destinations already in mind and booked that we're going to be going to. So it's been amazing, it's been a great learning experience, being able to see all these beautiful places, have some amazing experiences, and have it all funded by myself. A lot of people constantly say, oh, he's doing this and that, or his parents paid for this, or there's no way this is actually true. That's, that's completely fine. I'm just traveling to figure out exactly what I want. I'm traveling for the sake of enjoying myself and experiencing different cultures, and I just so happen to share that every single day on this YouTube channel. And that has all been such an amazing experience, but at the end of the day, I'm just a boy from Minnesota repping my little ClickFunnels nerd shirt, all right? But for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Hayden Bowles, I'm an 18 year old internet entrepreneur, and I do a couple of different things, two of which I'm gonna be breaking down in this video for you. I hope it's not too windy, this is like the, the least windy spot outside of my house here in Bali that I could find right now, kinda of tucked away. Uh, hopefully this audio sounds good. But I wanna break down two different income streams that give me a passive $13,000 a month income without really having to do too much. One of them I do kind of have to do stuff for, but I'm gonna explain why why I don't do that stuff for that money, okay? So this is gonna make sense here in a second once we jump inside of my computer. But being able to, to fund this lifestyle, you know, I don't, I don't live crazy, I don't do anything too intense. I'm traveling, it's amazing, but it's not like I'm out here spending $100,000 a month doing anything absurd. So I'm just living my life focused on growing my businesses and enjoying myself, all while creating content along the way for each and every one of you. So if you haven't already, join the family, join the gang, by hitting that nice thing and subscribe button, and let's jump inside of my computer and start going through this. By by the way, before we do that real quick, these are not my primary income streams at all. These have nothing to do with that. These are not the primary. These are not what I think about. This is not what I put in work to make. And this is also not what the largest ones are. So just keep that in mind. Let's jump inside of my computer. All right, you guys, so the first one is the Shopify referral affiliate link. This is something that I don't really promote. I just happen to leave it inside of my YouTube videos. It's nothing too intense. This one is about three, I'm gonna call it 3,500 to 4,000 each and every month. But just keep in mind that both of these stem off of YouTube, okay? So these are just kind of two side streams that come off of that. I talk a lot about e-commerce. E-commerce is my primary income stream, and this is what I focus most of my attention on. That's where my skill sets are built, and so that's that's kind of a lot of the content that I push out on the channel along with my other businesses in daily life. So this is something I just leave it in the description of each and every YouTube video. And since it's something people would have to sign up for anyways, they just jump in with the free trial through me. So if they decide to continue and you know open and run this business, they can do that under my link, which as you see right here, I get paid by. I'm not gonna scroll down because it shows the people's names just for privacy purposes, but I currently have 72 people on the trial. Now, I have 187 people on the monthly subscription. I do not get paid monthly through this. So this is where it's called a 200% bounty. So let's say someone buys, uh, they do the 14 day free trial and then they pay for the, let's say the middle package. They pay for the $79 a month package. I don't make a fraction of $79 every single month. I actually get double the $79 one time. So I will get essentially like $158 one time once they pay that first month. So this is something where I'm just constantly bringing in people without actually doing anything. I just leave it in the description. So let me go over to the payouts here and show you what it's looking like. They pay out every two weeks, so twice a month. So you see here, you know, a payout and then a payout. That right there is like 3,500 bucks roughly, and then you know, it's, it's every two weeks, okay? So they pay every two weeks, which is a little bit unique, but that's all right. You can see the pay date and everything just constantly going back as to when I really started promoting this, all the way back to kind of when the YouTube started growing. So this is a fun little affiliate marketing stream that just kind of branches off of it, and it makes sense, you know? I don't really have to promote it, I don't push it. I mean, by the way, if you guys are gonna sign up for Shopify, feel free to go through the link, you know? You're gonna sign up anyways, might as well have my audience do that under me. So this is a, a really nice income stream off of that, just something that 
you know, it's, it's a car payment, you know, it can help pay rent or travel, whatever. You don't really think about it. It's just something that comes in a very side income stream that uh, honestly, it took me about five minutes to log into this because I had to figure out the password. So it just pays me out. It's a, a consistent, solid income stream. Now, the second one, and this also branches off of YouTube, is my Google ad revenue. So as you can see, the last payment was $9,200, almost $9,300. That's just off my YouTube ad revenue alone. I really hope I'm allowed to show this. I don't wanna get in trouble for it. Um, but essentially, that's what I'm making. I have an extremely high CPM just because of the niche, the type of content that we post. It's informational. And apparently, that's worth a lot to advertisers, which makes sense. So this is something where, yes, I do have to work. I post a YouTube video every single day, but not for the reason of making this money. I do that for the reason of consistency and growing the audience, which will lead to more money in other streams, other ventures, and down the road. Okay, so that's the long-term game. I did not start YouTube thinking I would even be able to make close to this much off of ad revenue. I'm like, oh, that'd be so sick if I could make it hit 1,000 or 2,000 a month. I had no idea it would be this high. So it's just a nice bonus income stream that, to be honest, pretty much covers my lifestyle of being able to travel and do what I want and you know there's there's other stuff involved but it just kind of hits every single month that pays out every 28 days so it's kind of a a nice little income stream there that again don't really think about yes i put effort because i make youtube videos but that's just two simple things out of many okay and i want to get this point across that diversifying and having multiple streams of income is going to be so valuable because at least for me i never felt comfortable doing something based on one income so for example I wanted to buy a car. I've always loved cars. Um, I currently have a BMW M4, but back like a year ago when you know, I was making money, like over 5,000 a month with affiliate marketing and then getting into e-commerce that quickly pushed up into over 10,000, I was doing all this stuff and I wanted to get a Maserati. But when I initially wanted to get the car, I only had one income stream primarily. And so I didn't feel comfortable when, all right, what happens if for whatever reason, this gets completely deleted? And if you guys know the OG story, my income stream, my main one, did get deleted, which was a crazy story inside of itself, but it was a really good wake-up call. I don't feel comfortable to have any sort of name on a lease alone, any sort of like responsibilities, employees, traveling, what am I gonna do? Get stuck in another country while not making money? I want options, I want income streams, I want different money hitting my bank every single day. That's the point, right? So that's kind of why I, I constantly progress, do this and that. I mean, I'll throw up a screenshot from this morning and I don't do this to brag. This is just different income streams coming in on a daily basis, a weekly basis, bi-weekly basis like you guys just saw with the, the Shopify affiliate and also on a monthly basis. So there's also things that are random, random checks. I'm really focused on building residuals now. Neither of these are residual. You know, I'm working on a new business that I'm extremely excited about and I haven't talked about at all, but there's a lot of different things I'm working on and different things that I want to do. So one of the biggest things that I've learned while just traveling and having you know, I don't want to say having money because I'm not here to brag and I genuinely don't consider myself as someone with money because when I get my money, I get rid of it, okay? I invest it, I put it somewhere else so that I don't see it. That way I don't get complacent and comfortable so I'm constantly elevating and growing myself. So those are just two income streams that I have that hit my bank every single month. I wanted to share those with you guys because a lot of people have been asking about residuals. Some people want me to make affiliate marketing videos. If you guys want me to make a couple more videos on that, feel free to shoot me a DM or drop it in the comments down below. I would be more than happy to do that if there's a good amount of people who want to see that type of content. But as you just saw, I mean, there's, you know, there's different income streams. There's a lot of different stuff that I do. And so it's never reliant on one income stream. You know, am I going to be able to travel the world? Let me just spin this around. I know it's not the craziest professional video and you guys are facing directly into the wind now, but you know, am I going to be able to like go do this stuff? I would not feel comfortable doing that if I did not have the right structure and multiple income streams. So for me, being able to do this, you know, travel the world, you guys saw that little intro clip and do what I do that's not reliant on one income stream. There's a lot of things where if I completely stopped working, my income would go down, of course, but there's things that would not change. They wouldn't vary very much very, very. <laughs> so there's constantly things that are just being added, things that are being removed, changed, upgraded, like, you know, increasing and some stuff that I get rid of. You know, I now set caps where I don't want to start a new project. that's going to make me under X amount of money every single month because I'm already elevated past that point. So it's just that constant progression. If you guys want to travel or even if you want to buy your parents a car, a house, you want to take care of someone, you want to do something, or you just want that simple financial freedom to quit your job, leave school, or just have money 
money in the bank, whatever it is you want to do, that's up to you. But you have to go get it. You have to build that structure. I started with one thing. I mastered one thing and I built that into a lot of other things. And I transitioned those skills. And then I started sharing that, which then led to a lot of other things. Those two income streams, I would definitely still be a Shopify affiliate. I would just run ads for it if I didn't have a personal brand. But there's things like the Google ads. That's from YouTube. I, I never expected to do YouTube. I was never really one to be on camera. So it really goes to show that a lot of different things can change once you start putting yourself out there and just test. You know, I never expected to do a lot of the stuff that I did. However, I did expect to become extremely successful, which I will be. Give me 5, 10, 15, 30 years. Everybody has a different definition of success. So I hope this video found you well. I hope it gave you some ideas, maybe some inspiration. Drop in the comments down below any other topics you want me to talk about. And with that being said, you guys, I'd very much so appreciate if you drop a like down below. And of course, join the family, join the gang by hitting that nice like and subscribe button if you have not done so already. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace. Thank you.